Hey, it's Mike from PinOaksFarm.com. Just wanted to shoot a real quick video to share with you how I did this uh, pumpkin. This actually a corn planter, but turn one row into a pumpkin planter. Uh, the seeds are so big on these pumpkin seeds that they just won't go through these seed plates. Uh, and there's just a lot of planters that you can't plant them with. So what I want to do is just show you how I took one row and converted over to a uh, pumpkin planter. You may have seen the video of my wife walking alongside, dropping the seeds, and I'll show you just exactly how we did that. So to start with, I just pulled one seed bin off, took one off. There it is right there, sitting on the floor. And then I just made a little two before frame that sets up here on the front. And right here you can see a bolt. So right here is a half moon cutout and your seed bin slides up into that and then it fastens right back here at the rear with a wing nut. So what I did is I just drilled a hole, <coughs> excuse me, through two two befores, put a long bolt in it, and it slides up into this half moon notch, which holds that in there. Back here, can't really see it, but up underneath this two before, I just got it notched so that it sits down over this little piece of strap iron, and that just holds it in place. I just put a two before on here just to keep a hand or you know keep somebody out of it that walks along the side of it. Um, right here is the seed tube. So this is the seed tube where your seeds drop down and then they go right down in here uh, into the ground. So what I've, I've done there is I just took a hole saw, a, a two inch hole saw, and cut a hole. And my funnel sets down inside that tube, uh, that seed tube. And then I just took a rag and wrapped around and stuffed it down in here to make it real good and tight and to keep seeds from dropping down through that hole because two inches is too big for it, but it needs to be that big to get the angle right. <clears throat> now, you can see now, yeah, you can see daylight through there. Just make sure on your, on your funnel that you cut, most of these funnels you're gonna have to cut the end off. And you're just gonna have to experiment. You want the seed to drop through there. Actually, you want three or four seeds to drop through at a time just to make sure it's not gonna plug. Now, we only plant one seed at a time, but uh, I like to drop several down there all at once. And if they all go through, then basically your hole is, is adequate size. <clears throat> but what happens if you get the hole too small, the seeds will clog up in there and you'll be going along and then your, your funnel will fill up and you won't realize that you haven't been planting. So uh, make sure your hole's big enough. And then uh, this little workstation area right here. So we just walk right in here, walk right alongside of it. You got a little tray here to put your seeds in. And it just makes it nice and handy because you go from tray to funnel, tray to funnel, you know, so on. Now, how do we know when to drop it? Okay, it's a good question, right? See the stripe on the tire? One full revolution of that stripe is a little over five feet. So it's, it's close to five and a half feet, one full revolution. So what Rhonda does, my wife, is when the stripe uh, reaches, she uses this as a reference point. So when the stripe comes back around to this, she drops the seed. You can do it straight up and down, whatever works for you. But when, when you see the stripe come around again, you drop a seed. Pretty simple, all right? So yeah, we just do one row at a time. And the other rows, you can see I've got them raised up, pinned up, so that they're not down on the ground. Now the coulters do cut in, um, but actually it kind of works for a reference. So basically from this unit, skip a unit over to that unit is six foot. All right, so what I do is I plant here, and then I turn around, and I drop that right back in where that was. That makes our six foot rows, okay? Any questions, you can leave comments below. Check out our blog, pinoaksfarm.com. That's pinoaksfarm.com. I'll see you in the next video. Make it a great day. Bye for now.